Hello everybody, today I'm at the Detroit Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country Black Edition. Um, I do understand it may be a little bit hard to see things because of how dark the exterior color of this truck is, but I'll do my best to show you what's going on. So just like all the High Countries, you are going to have the High Country stamped into the front portion of the grill. This guy being the High Country is the most premium high-end trim level that Chevy offers in their Silverado. Uh, it's gonna come with the 360 degree camera system. So your front facing camera is gonna be right here, well underneath the blacked out Chevy bow tie. Parking sensors are gonna be integrated into the upper and middle portion of the bumper. Black tow recovery hooks are gonna be included as well. And your LED fog lamps are gonna be all the way down here. Slightly updated headlight package for 2023 into 2024. Beautiful, beautiful looking vehicle. Coming around to the side, the wheel and tire setup. Looks like we have some Bridgestone tires and the tire size looks like it is a 275-60R22. Beautiful gloss black 22 inch wheel. Your high country badging is gonna be all the way up here. Color matched mirror caps with your mirror mounted camera right there. Splash guards are gonna be included on this guy. We also have this kind of um, black chrome Silverado badging on the driver and passenger side door. Drop down running boards, which makes getting in and out of the vehicle very easy. Blind spot monitor right here. Passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver side or passenger side door. Capless fuel fill port right there. Full LED tail lamp. This is the Multi Pro tailgate. I'll go over that a little bit later. Blacked out bow tie, backup camera right here. Newer bumper step, and your blind spot monitor is actually located right in there as well. Uh, parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper on this guy, and we also have black dual exhaust. Right here we have your trailer cameras as well as your seven pin connector for the trailer hitch. Silverado badging is gonna be blacked out. Same with your high country badging. Up top, we got the cargo light. We got the backup uh, rear view mirror camera, as well as your cargo camera. We'll go over a little bit in detail later. And then we have this wing, which is designed to actually shoot air over the bed. So even if you don't have a tonneau cover, you will have a little bit uh, improved efficiency versus not having one at all. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful exterior color. They did an amazing, amazing job with this. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting over here on the driver's side door, we have this real nice soft leather and this wood accent trim. Your lock and unlock buttons as well as your two seat memory. High country uh, badge is gonna be on the driver's side and passenger side door. Your window controls are gonna be right here. Driver and passenger are automatic up and down. Right here we have all the mirror controls, including your power folding mirror button. Bose Premium Audio Group is included, being a high country. This is your uh, electronic parking brake. This is your push button transfer case. You have auto, four high, two high, four low. We have your different drive modes for the vehicle. And then we have your trailer uh, tow mode right here. Over here we have all the lighting buttons for the vehicle, including your fog lights cargo lamp button, regular rotary dial light selector, and then the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Above that, we have your heads up display, which is gonna be displayed right here. Lots of different parameters and features you can monitor with this heads up display. You got the um, height of the, he of the heads up display right here. We have what information the heads up display is gonna actually display, including your off-road mode. And then we have the heads up display brightness up or down. Coming up to the dashboard, we have a nice soft rubberized material on the dashboard with this kind of red looking stitching. Like I said previously, the heads up display is gonna be right there. We have a really nice storage tray right here. Coming to the instrument cluster, it is 100% digital, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the key fob, so I cannot go into detail much on that. This does have the um, semi-autonomous driving uh, mode 
you have your sensor right here as well as your sensor right there. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel with no bolsters. We are going to have manual paddle shifters which is awesome. On the left side we have all of your cruise control buttons including your lane keep assist and your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control. Over on the right hand side we have your steering wheel mounted audio uh, hands free controls as well as the control pad for the center LCD display up there. This guy does have push button start. Right here we have the massive horizontal touchscreen display with a card system. Wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Amazon Alexa enabled. You have your climate controls through here as well and your 4G LTE uh, connection. You also have your pre-trip tra trailer checklist so you can check all the lighting of the vehicle. You can access the maps through here which is extremely high definition. Um, I do believe that we do not have location services turned on. There we go. It will find our location now. We are in Detroit at Huntington Place. Maybe if it can get a signal through all the concrete above us. Right here we have some physical buttons for the radio, including your home button, which will obviously take you home. Volume knob. Bunch of buttons right here. Starting from left to right, we have your uh, uh, lane keep assist button. P uh, parking sensor off button. Automatic start stop off button. This will actually lower the tailgate, hazard light button, traction control off, and this will open all four windows of the vehicle at once. Like I said, this guy has push button start, integrated trailer brake control, which in my opinion is located in a perfect spot. Right here we have all the physical buttons for the uh, uh, air conditioning. It is dual zone. You have heated and ventilated captain's chairs. Your heated driver's steering wheel button is gonna be right here. The passenger has a USB and USB type C. You also have a storage tray here. Two cup holders, pen storage, very sleek minimalist style shifter, which I absolutely love. Chain storage, wireless charging mat right here. Open that up, giving us access to USB, USB type C, as well as a power outlet right over here. Really nice tabs for file folders if you're using this as a work truck. High Country is gonna be stitched into the headrests. Beautiful, beautiful leather seats in this vehicle. Two glove boxes. The first one's gonna be accessed by pushing this button right here. Nice wood trim. Second one's gonna be right there. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Up top right here, we have a three-door universal garage remote. All the master controls for the single pane sunroof, as well as the power sliding rear window button. Um, I love that General Motors is sticking with a single pane. Um, I just, I'm a huge fan of the single pane sunroofs. You have your SOS and OnStar buttons right here. And then you have your video camera rear view mirror. You flick it forward and it will open up the video when the vehicle is running. You can control the brightness, you can control how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera views, and you can also control how high or how low the camera views as well. When you're done, flick it back and it becomes a regular rear view mirror. Overall, I'm very impressed with the interior of this vehicle. Um, if you look closely, you can actually see that the touchscreen display and all of this stuff is slightly angled towards the driver. Um, so in years past it would just be completely flat so the driver and passenger could equally uh, operate everything. Uh, now there is definitely more of a focus on the uh, driver side of things. So sitting where I would be if I was driving, I can easily reach to the far right corner of the touchscreen display and not have to worry about straining and taking my uh, eyes completely off the road and putting myself in a dangerous situation. But I love how everything's kind of angled towards the driver. Let's take a look at the back and see how much leg room we have. So you're going to get tons of room back here. Uh, these seats do fold up, giving us access to some under seat storage. We also have storage in both sides of the seats back here. Uh, not super deep storage, however, I have a pretty big hand. Almost my entire hand goes to the center of this seat, so definitely decent amount in there. Getting in is real easy with the running boards and the grab handle on the B pillar. Like I said, tons of room back here from the front of this seat back to this is about two and a half feet. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here. Down below you have your heated captain's chairs as well as USB-C and USB power outlet. 
This center seat has a fold down armrest slash cup holder. Your LED dome map lights are gonna be up top in the middle of the headliner. And it, as you can see, they absolutely pushed the maximum amount they could uh, for the rear occupants to give them more headspace. This is about three more inches of headspace. And that's why I like the single pane sunroof because if you had a dual pane, you wouldn't have this much headroom back in here. So hats off to General Motors for accommodating uh, taller passengers. Let's take a quick look at the bed. So like I said, this has the multi-pro tailgate. So there's a couple ways to actually lower the tailgate on this vehicle. Uh, the first way is with this top button right here, which will just lower this top portion of the tailgate. You can then pull this button here and then have some more storage. So you turn your six and a half foot bed almost into an eight foot bed. This guy does have the kicker audio group in here as well for tailgating. If you wanna pull, put the whole tailgate down, you can push this button here. Then you have access to the whole bed. Spray and bed liner, three tie down points in each of the four corners for a class leading 12 tie down points. This does have the handle right here because it also doubles as a bed step. So we're gonna put this tailgate up real quick. We're gonna push both of these buttons simultaneously. And then you push this down. Then you have your step right here with your handle. Putting it back is very easy. Simply slam that shut. And in one motion, I can put the entire tailgate back up. So unfortunately, this guy does not have a towing and payload sticker because it is at the show. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content and vehicle walkthroughs, subscribe to the channel and be sure to go over to Twitter or X and give me a follow as I will be posting all of my auto show content exclusively on that platform first. It'd also be a great help if you checked out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day. So right now